I know this might be an overstatement, but I see they've waived student loans while we're in this coronavirus problem. And I have a two-step plan that would solve a lot of problems and give, I think, many people some breathing room. I believe our government has the ability, if they wanted to, to stop everything. Your house payments, your car payments, your lease payments, personal and business for everyone. Your mortgages, your taxes, everything for three months. No penalties, no past due, nothing. Just stop everything right where it's at. I think they call it a mulligan. I hope I'm getting that word right. It's just a do-over. We'll just reboot. You know, we do it with a computer. If things don't work, you reboot. Take a three-month holiday from everything. Let the government catch this thing up. Let the people that are barely surviving, the ones who are barely treading water when this before this ever started, have a chance to catch up, catch their breath, and not panic, not worry where the next meal is going to come from, where they're going to live two or three months from now. Uh, uh, no taxes, nothing. Don't just. Yeah, you know, I don't mind paying my taxes, but let me pay them. Give me, give me two years to pay my past two taxes. I mean, three months from now, make a payment plan. I'll make payments on it. Everyone else can make payments. Make us a no interest, no penalty on the on the stuff that we owe the government money for. It. We'll still pay it. Just no interest, no penalty. Just this big old redo. Uh, if you agree with me, start yelling at your congressman. Start, you know, I, I don't know what else to do. We need, you know, I've got a few months. I've got a little bit of breathing room. I know people that don't have a month and they've got kids, they've got families. Uh, I know businesses that aren't gonna make it another month. They are in deep, dire straits. I've been in business 43 years. I've got a little bit of wiggle room. Not a ton of it, but I got a little bit. Uh, same with the banks. No, no penalty. I mean, obviously you can't just keep writing checks and hoping something's going to happen. But if you end up uh, in dire straits, uh, maybe the banks can work with people, make small loans. I believe there's going to be something out there. I don't know what it is. Uh, I noticed that this $2 trillion package deal has a sweet deal for <laughs> wealthy property managers, property management, and people that have big hotels and motels, they get to write off paper losses for up to three years. Now, paper loss in the real world is, they didn't cost them anything. It's on paper. It's not real money. It's a paper loss. It's only going to help the upper 1% of the people in this country, but they get to write off their paper losses for three years through this deal. What are you and I getting? What are we getting out of this? I, I, and again, not, I'm not talking about for me, but if they can help the 1% by giving them money they don't need to start with, let's change up. I had to start over. My phone started ringing there at the very end. Anyway, and there it goes again. I'll be, I'll be back. Okay, try it one more time before the phone rings. If we as a nation spread the word that we want to take a mulligan, maybe our politicians would listen to us. They're, when they're listening to themselves, they're not taking care of us. They're taking care of themselves and the lobbyists. I don't really care about the lobbyists. I don't care about the politicians. I care about what's going to be left in this country after the wealthiest 1% get done buying up more of what we're going to lose in this downtime. The people that are sitting here right now in trouble are going to end up having nothing. And I'll guarantee you right now, the biggest banks and the wealthiest of the wealth are trying to figure out how they can get more through all these hard times. That's kind of how they operate. The big corporations that have uh, millions of dollars of buying power, the, uh, I don't want to pick on Mick Romney, but Mick Romney owns a company. All they do is buy low and sell high. These companies are gearing up right now to make a killing on what's going to happen. You're going to see houses on the market in the next 90 days that are going to be giveaways. The dump, I mean, that's just what we need, housing market to go in the ground. Because our country is, uh, the best I can explain it, our country is based on the housing market. If our housing market goes down 
the whole country starts going down. That's what happened this last downturn, that you know, where uh, they spent hundreds of millions of dollars to bail out all these different companies. The housing market, the loans were bad loans, and the whole country went into a little depression there, so or recession. So we need to try and bail ourselves out, and the only way we can do it is send a message to everyone. Get a hold of your congressmen, get a hold of your senators, yell at them, say enough is enough. Let's just do a do-over. That's my idea. If you think it's a good idea, spread it to your friends. Okay, bye.